What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And this is going to be a quick video. But we're seeing, um, and I'll show you, multiple people are talking about this, but Germany uh, PPI has increased 7.9% month over month in August. The fastest pace since records began. Okay. The uh, year-over-year prices increased a staggering 45.8%. Talk about inflation, more like hyperinflation. Folks, you have an energy crisis. This is what it's going to look like. And it's not going to be long before it hits the U.S. You've got to be preparing yourselves for this. It's coming. It's here, folks. It's here. We see, I um, mean, uh, uh, here you go, another uh, post by Wall Street Silver. Oh, scheisse. Inflation in Germany keeps on rising. The forecast was actually supposed to be 37%, but it's actually 48.8%. 45.8, excuse me. And so it says the German producer price index measures the change in the price of goods sold by manufacturers. So that's what the PPI is. A higher than expected reading should be taken as a positive slash bullish for the euro, while lower than expected reading should be taken as negative slash bearish for the euro. I mean, like, I mean, everyone has a brain, folks. This kind of inflation is not bullish. This is this is going to be reflected in the things that the consumer brought, buys. This is not good, folks. Here we see Doomberg posted, Good morning from Germany, where inflation pressure rising strongly again. PPI has accelerated to 45.8% in August, year over year, from 37.2% in July. Highest price increase ever since the start of statistic in 1949. That's when they started the statistic. Compared with preceding math, PPI jumped by 7.9% in August, also the highest increase ever. So there you have it. Now, on to my next topic. Why are these camps being set up if this, you know, um, era is over from the last three years? Why the need to keep building all these camps? Folks, you've got to question. There's more that's at hand. And this is, you've got to um, start paying attention. We're way past that era. Why do you need all these internment camps? I believe that there's coming a time when people will be placed in these when they do not go um, with the agenda. And it's going to be climate change is the next um, next big thing. And if you are uh, uh, speak against whatever rules are coming, they're going to put you in one of these. This is going to be like Germany all over again folks you've got to pay attention it's it's in the pan nation it's in Australia New Zealand those areas they began to build their internment camps so keep your eyes open now we see massive fire with black smoke spotted at a uh, refinery in Oregon Ohio injuries reported I mean it's it's our energy facility, sorry, our energy facilities, yes, and our food facilities, all being attacked for one purpose, to bring down all of uh, the economy. And you start, you're hearing rumblings of strikes from railroad workers, from FedEx employees. If any of those happens, our economy is down the gutter. <laughs> and I thought there's a funny meme. Buy now or be forever priced out. The world right now and realtors, anyone want to buy a house? Folks, houses are being are coming down really quickly. And so um, keep an eye out. Like I said, you prepare day by day. And when the opportunity presents itself, you go ahead and take advantage of the opportunity. So that in mind, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.